Hey everyone, this is Paul and Brendan from Sons of Speed. We are at Road America on the famous racetrack about to take the Toyota Supra manual, the 3.0 six speed manual. Very excited, this is gonna be great. Be careful how you use it. Alright, we were waiting for them to do it. They finally did it. They put a manual in the Supra, and uh, here we go. Oh man, it's got power. It's got a lot of power. All right, Supers have always been good on track. I will mention that Road America has just been repaved, completely repaved. Yeah, this is our first, our first glimpse, first driving on this track after the repave. Yeah, and how's it holding? It feels, it feels good for the passenger seat. It feels real good. A lot of people are talking about, you know, it's good, it feels a little slick. Here we're coming up to the chicane. I have no idea what those cones are trying to tell me to do. Oh man, they really oh, man, slowed they me down. really made it tight. Oh, Holy cow. Oh, oh. Man. <laughs> okay, they're not screwing around with the chicane. Pedals are perfect for heel toe. The, the shifter is great. You know, they've always put great shifters into their cars. Uh, the one that's in the the GR86 is one of my favorites. Okay, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna Brakes intervene here for a second. This is actually a BMW shifter. I know. However, however, Toyota tinkered with it, and actually, it from better. what I'm understanding, it feels better than the BMW. I don't doubt that at all. Oh, it's nice. Brakes are great. You know, I can feel that the the shifts are like right where the torque curve. Yeah. You don't have to like No, they're they're perfectly placed. You're not out of sync or out of Yeah, you're of not out power. of range, you know? And, and so that that's what's so nice and about it. That makes it. a big deal when you're deciding whether to get the manual or, or the automatic. That third gear was great. Man, exited at 89. Through the motorcycle she came. I guess they didn't repave this part. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you can see the difference. <laughs> That's old track, new track. Uh, head up display is pretty good. Although it's funny, it's giving me a 25 mile an hour speed limit <laughs> in the head up display. Like I'm in track mode, dude. I'm on a track. Oh, Boy, they, they really slow you down. They really try to slow you, you down. You know, ever since somebody put a Lexus LIS 500 into the wall or ISF, uh, yeah, they try to make sure the journalists don't crash cars. I'm not against that. Well, this is uh, this is nice though. This is really nice. Man. It's so smooth on this track now. Yeah, the track is really smooth. Oh, they they kind of eliminated the uh, inside of 13 rumble strip or something I was always aiming at. We caught up to the AMG in front of us. <laughs> I'm super impressed. The feel from the torque, it's like spot on. Yeah. Oh, I love the way this thing drives. The power is so smoothly delivered. There's no turbo lag. There's no hesitation. It's just like power, power, power. I just, oh, I like this thing a lot. Yeah, you know, if I just only, wish my head fit in here a little bit. If only better. there was like <laughs> two little jump seats in the back Something. and a little bit more headroom and in body room this would be such a perfect car but it's not supposed to be a perfect car it's supposed to be a sports car yes so being that it is a two-seater sports car they really nailed it i have to say i agree 100 percent. so that has been an episode of the lap with the manual supra and this has been brendan driving paul in the passenger seat we will be back with more on the next episode of the lap here on We Are Motor Driven. Take care.